In this video, we are going to see how to add Aweber subscriber to Microsoft Excel. So let's say you are using Aweber as an email marketing software where you want that every time there is a new subscriber added. This information should be shared in your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now how can you do this? By integrating these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Aweber and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. So how can you do this yourself and automate this entire process to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. To start with the process, we are first going to type pably.com slash connect and as we type this URL, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you have to simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up. At the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And once I do that, it will take me to the all applications page. So this, these are all the applications under the umbrella of Pabli. And here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, so I'm going to click on access now. Once done, it will take me to the dashboard of this application. And here we have reached. Now on the right hand side, you can see create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking me to name this workflow. Here, my objective is to create Aweber subscribers and fill that information in my Excel sheet. So here I'm going to name it as Aweber to MS Excel. Now this is how I'm going to name it. Let's click on create. So once done, we have reached another window which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is what happens when this happens. So my workflow will actually start and action is the response to it. So here my trigger application would be a Weber. And as we click on this, it is now asking me about the trigger event. Trigger event is the event which will make this workflow start. And here the answer is new subscriber in a list. So every time a new subscriber is added, then only this workflow will run. So I'm now going to click on connect. And here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Aweber account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Aweber. So here you can see that it is asking me to log in again. I'm going to click on this and allow access. So once done, here you can see that the authorization is successful. Now here we have to provide the account and the list ID. So it has already captured the account and the list ID. So now we have to receive the API response for this. First, I'm going to take you to my Aweber account. And here as we go to subscribers, so you can see on the right hand top corner, we can see add subscriber. So I'm going to click on this, click on add a subscriber. Here we are going to fill in the information. Let's say the name is test subscriber. And now the email here is test subscriber at publitudes.com. And now the ad tracking. So here, uh, let's say that I got this information through website. Now then we have a tag. Do I want to add a tag? So let's say it is a new subscriber. So this is the tag. And then we have these custom fields. So if you wish, you can always add this information. Let's say the voter ID is 12345. And then we have the date of birth. So it is 11 September 1985. And then we have the address. So it is random street and random city. And let's say the pin code is 462042. So once done here, I'm going to click on add subscriber. So as soon as we have done that here, we have received the message that the subscriber has been added. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and click on save and send test request. So once done here, you can see that we have received the information. So this is the date of birth. 
here we have the voter's ID, the country is here, then city because since we had put the PIN code, it has taken the name of the city. Then we have the field address here, we have the email address, then we have the ID. If I go down, you can see that the name is test subscriber. Again, if we go further down, it was subscribed at, which means we have got the date of creation and time. And then we have the subscription method, which was through website and the tag is new subscriber. So we have received this entire information. Now what I want is this information should be a part of my Excel sheet that I've already prepared. So I'm going to choose my next application as Excel sheet. But before that, if I want the date and time of creation to be there in my Excel sheet, I'll have to add another action step, which is date time formatter. So I'm going to click on this. And once done here, let's select the action event is format date only. If you wish to have the time, you can select format date with time zone. Now I'm going to click on connect. And then here, let's map the data. Mapping means that I already have the date to, like, you know, uh, I already have the date to my first step. I'm just going to retrieve it. So here, if I take you down, this is the date. And now this is exactly in the same format. So the from format remains the same. And now the two format. So here, I want my two format to be date, month, and year. I'm going to click on this and then click on save and send test request. Once done, here you can see that we have received a result in the desired format. So now I'm going to add another action step here and the application here is Microsoft Excel. Let's click on this. Once done, here we have to understand what will be our action event. It would be to add row to worksheet, which means every time we receive new information, it should be added to my Excel sheet as a new row. Let's click on connect. Once done, Pabli Connect is here asking me to connect itself with the Microsoft Excel account. So I'm going to now click on add new connection and then connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking me for the account. So I have clicked on the account and now I'm going to provide it the access by clicking on yes. So once done here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. And now Pabli Connect and Microsoft Excel are connected. Now we have to select the workbook. So I'm going to first take you to my Excel sheet that I've created. So this is the Excel sheet that I've already created. The name is A Paper Details 1 and the name of the sheet is simply Sheet 1. Here we have the following column fields, name, email address, voter ID, date of birth, city, then subscription method, tags, and date of creation. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. Here I have to select the workbook and the worksheet. So I'm now going to click on this and the name is Aweber. So here you can see it is Aweber details one. I'm going to click on this. And now we can see that it has already captured the worksheet since there was only one worksheet. Now we have to map this data. Mapping basically means that we already have got this data in our previous step and now we are just going to retrieve it. So I'm going to click on name and going to the first step here, I'm going to find the name. So you can see the name test subscriber. Let's click on this. Then we have the email address. So again, going to the first step, this is the email address. Then we need the voter ID. I'm going to the first step and here is the voter ID. Then we need the date of birth. So again, going here, we have the date of birth here. Now the city, so here is the city. And then we have the subscription method. So here the subscription method is this. And then we have the tags. So here we have the tag, if I write tag here, so this is the new subscriber tag. And then we have the date of creation. For this, we are going to go to step number two, and this is our date of creation. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So once done, here we can see that we have received the response, which basically means that this information should now be a part of my Excel sheet. So going back to my Excel sheet, I'm going to refresh this page. And here you can see that yes, we have received this information. So basically this means that this integration process is a complete success. But we also need to check if this is possible and this is successful in real time. So now I'm going to go back to my account, Aweber account. And here I'm again going to add another subscriber. So let's say this time the name is demo and the email address is testingdemo at pablitudes.com. 
then we have again here let's say the um, the ad tracking is trade show now if I go down the tag is again new subscriber then we have the custom field so let's say the voter ID this time is 98765 and the date of birth is 14 11 1987 and now the address here is let's say random address so random street and then we have for uh, the pin code so I'm going to write the pin code which is 462042 once done I'm going to click on add subscriber so as soon as this is done what should happen I should receive these details on my excel sheet going back and now I'm going to refresh this page so here you can see that we haven't received the data yet to understand the reason I'm going to now take you to Babli connect and if I scroll up it is showing that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes basically this application this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes and you will have to wait for 10 minutes to receive the data so this workflow will run after every 10 minutes and fetch for new data so now we are going to wait for 10 minutes so that we can receive the data in our excel sheet so going back to our excel sheet here you can see that yes we have received the information so basically this means that our integration process is a complete success now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect to understand the process. So this was an extremely easy two-step process where we had added one feature by Pabli which was date time formatter. So here my trigger application is Aweber and my trigger event is new subscriber in a list. My action event here was date time formatter by Pabli where I had chosen the event as format date only. Then finally the action event was Microsoft Excel and the event was at row to worksheet. I hope this is very much clear to you. In case you have any doubt then you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone this workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this if you have any doubt or if you have any other suggestion or advice for this you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.